All right, getting started with Kia Stokes here on Friday, August 20th. Kia, thanks for joining us. Just a couple quick questions for you. We've got uh, nine regular season games left here for the Aces down the stretch, and you've been a part of a few of these runs to the playoffs during your time with the New York Liberty. What, if anything, as a veteran of the league, can you impart on some of the younger players maybe who haven't been through as many of these wars heading into the playoffs? What do you have to keep focused on? Um, we can't get lax right now. Um, I think Bill mentioned it today. We have to go eight and one in our next nine games to secure a two game bye, which we definitely need. Uh, my first couple years in New York, we made the playoffs. Uh, we were a really, really good team, but then playoff time came and we just weren't ready. Um, so we have to make sure we stay focused, have a good um, momentum going into the playoffs. It's going to be a dog for every game, especially going to Connecticut. Um, they definitely gave Vegas some problems earlier this season. So hopefully we can kind of change the outcome a little bit. But um, for the most part, focus on ourselves, make sure we're getting better, um, make sure that we're just focused and, you know, we can't take any games off. How are practices different this time of year? Obviously preseason, you're throwing in uh, all the different sets. But this time of year when you're playing teams for sometimes the second or even third time, uh, and you do have the playoffs, at least in the back of your mind. What what gets worked? Um, for well, at least for me, um, it's player personnel. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of teams run the same action, same sets, or similar sets. So it's just how we defend them. We want to make you know players that can score going one way, make them do something else, make them out of their get them out of their comfort zone. I think that's the biggest key because you know we're in a league full of 144 talented, amazing women. Um, everyone knows how to play basketball. It's just who's going to do better trying to stop them. Everyone's going to make tough shots. Everyone wants to win. Um, so it's definitely player personnel. Just make sure, you know, you know, you're guarding Tina. She loves her hook shots. Make her take more fadeaways. You know, she can hit those as well, but, you know, at least do something she's not as efficient at, um, if you can even say that. So it's kind of the same thing with any team. Um, just make sure the other players who score a lot, just make them do something different, make it harder for them and make, sure, make them have to play, you know, both ends of the court. And then before we let you go, uh, you mentioned that you're just sort of looking to, the team's looking to get better at this point. You've got nine games to improve. So what uh, generally for the team and then maybe specifically for you, are you trying to work on uh, for, uh, for this, this last stretch of games? Uh, well, for our team, we got to just become more crisp. Um, I think in the last couple of games, we kind of lose the ball, turnovers, miscommunications on defense. Um, and I think that just comes because, you know, most of our team was in Tokyo at the Olympics, so we didn't have as much time as other teams, um, which is a blessing and a curse because congrats on all the Olympians and especially our gold medalists. But at this point, we just got to tighten up, get a feel for each other again. Um, like I said, but a bunch of these players are playing with other players um, from other teams. So it's going to be one thing for us, just make sure that we come focused, stay sharp, get back to playing with each other. And I think our talent can take us a lot, but it's also – you know, one thing that we can't just rely on our talent, we have to focus um, individu individually. You know, I know I'm not going to be a starter or playing, you know, 40 minutes, but I know my role, just go in, be a disruptor, be a defensive player, old boards, putbacks, anything to help the team. And uh, when Bill calls my number, that's kind of what I'm focused on doing. All right. And we do have a couple of folks who just joined us, Chantel Jennings, Anne-Marie Anderson. We've got Kia Stokes here. Uh, we'll have Bill in about 10 minutes. So. Uh, if you want to there, we got an Anne-Marie hand raised, asked to unmute. Go ahead, Anne-Marie. Uh, was that you, Jiggy, who started the first question with Kier, or was, did somebody else ask a question first? Uh, I asked the first three questions, but you can go okay, ahead and fine. repeat. Okay, I just didn't want to make you repeat, but I'm glad we're no, doing our Zoom, Kia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, both of us. Connecticut, um, obviously coming up, and I'm sure Diggy had asked you about this, but I'm going to repeat it anyway. I know your role is not necessarily to score, but how are you approaching it when you are defending uh, there and in terms of your ability to add offensively as well? Um, like I said a little bit before, I'm just really focused on making, you know, whether it's Bree Jones, John Quell, or whoever comes in at the post position, just make it difficult for them. Um, obviously, we want to limit what they're good at and what they're used to, make them do something different outside of their comfort zone. So that's one of my main focuses when I get in the game, just, you know, if Bree Jones likes to seal and get, you know, she's really good to finish around the basket. So, you know, my job would be force her out, make her take more jump shots. Yes, she can hit it. But, you know, she's not as efficient. So that's kind of my job is just make them do something that they're not as used to doing. Um, and then offensively, just be a extra body, duck-ins, rebounds, um, be in the right spots, catch passes, you know, all that kind of stuff. Just trying to be more of like a glue piece that can do a little bit on each end. But like I said, make sure at least when I get in the game, make sure, you know, Bree and John Quell have to do something that they're not used to doing.
if that makes sense. It does. And we didn't get to talk <clears throat> last week when I was in Vegas, but I'm wondering what you did over the break specifically. Um, I was, I went to Cabo for a little bit, was on the beach, had a great nice. time. Um, and then I was able to go back home to Iowa with my family. So my mom, my dad, my grandparents, and I got to be my best friend's wedding. So I was really, really excited oh. in that. Yeah, I'm so glad. Well, she asked me last year, she's like, so when do you think you'll have time off uh, to go to a wedding or be in it? And I was like, yeah. hopefully, you know, beginning of August. So I was really thankful and lucky that I got to be part of that. It was an amazing experience. But, you know, now we're back to business. I had a great break, but time to get right for the rest of the season. Time to get right. And you joined the team not that long before the break. And so I'm wondering in terms of your um, ability, in terms of knowing the offense and all of that, how, how far have you come since you joined? Because it really hasn't been that many weeks, even though it's been like a month and a half or two months, it hasn't been that many weeks with Bill and having a lot of practices. Yeah, well, the lucky thing for me, I guess I don't know if it's lucky or not, but Bill has really the exact same playbook we had my rookie year. I know, so right. There's a, there's a couple of times where I'm like, oh, you know, I know the name, but what's the action? Oh, yeah, now I remember. So it's just, you know, a couple of days of review, and then it's kind of like clockwork. You know, it kind of don't, you know, that was the only offense I ran for, like, my first three years, and it's pretty simple, I guess I would say. So it's, it was pretty easy just to get acclimated back to the playbook. Great. Thank you so much, Kia. I don't know why Tanya Holly is calling me, but thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Probably updating you on our travel. And just for other folks to know, it looks like instead of heading out Sunday, we are going to head out Saturday. Unsure of the timing at the moment, but trying to get ahead of the hurricane that is heading up the East Coast. <laughs> Carolyn, that Pat. would be it. I had to pick up on what uh, Anne Maria had asked. Uh, about you joining the team and you're getting ready to play Connecticut. This is a team that has out rebounded the aces. How vital is your play in the style of what you do going to be? Um, I think it's pretty important. Um, even today, Bill was talking about, you know, what's our main key playing Connecticut. And right off the bat, everyone was just like, we got to rebound. We got to rebound them. And so it was pretty, uh, we know the assignment. So especially for me, someone that comes in and plays defense, especially on post players, likes to rebound block shots. Um, I feel like he's going to definitely rely, I don't want to say rely on me, but definitely going to need my uh, my help for the game. Um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough game. Um, I think they had troubles with Connecticut at the beginning of the season when I wasn't on the team. Not saying that's, you know, <laughs> my fault. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough game, a good game. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it and just making sure I come in, do my part, make it difficult for their post players um, because they do score a lot of their points. And uh, hopefully we come out with a win. Well, and you guys in the last two games against Washington really gutted it out to really show your toughness. You know, how did Bill address that? I know he had to get into you a little bit at halftime of the first Washington game. Yeah. Uh, then you all came out with great energy in the second one. Now, do you, how do you carry that momentum and how did he address that? Um, it's one thing we just got to stay focused. Uh, we have nine games left and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really, really tough. And, you know, like I mentioned before, we didn't have a lot of time during the break to practice as a team. So I think it's going to come as the practices and games come just becoming more sharp, taking care of the ball, making the right reads, the right cuts, talking more on defense. Um, a lot of times when we get kind of confused or they get easy shots because miscommunication on defense. So I think as we're playing more, practicing more and getting back into the flow of Vegas basketball, I think you're going to see more of how, you know, we become a little more sharper, uh, especially like in the first game when we were down by like 21 in the third quarter, you just, you don't realize it, but if you look back at the clips of the game, like you just see how we were just like zoned in, locked in, we were focused and we made the right play. And when we play like that, we're really, really hard to beat. So, if, so like, hopefully we can do that for 40 minutes. So that way, if a team ends up beating us when we play that well, then great job. You play great. You deserve that win. But it's tough when you play bad and then you happen to lose a game. You're like, ah, oh, we could have did this, this, and this. But luckily, at least for that first DC game, we kind of snuck one out. Um, but it was a learning experience. Rather learn with the win than have to learn with taking a loss. Uh, thanks, Kia. And you all be safe traveling to Connecticut. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Kia, we will let you go get your swole on and Ooh, welcome yeah. <laughs> Bill Lambeer to. All right, thanks, guys. All right, Bill, if you'll go ahead and turn your video on, we are ready for you. Turn my video on. That's a requirement. I mean, you know, it's, we always like to see you. Whatever.